my name's Will Zooch. I operate D&W Earth Moving. We're in the Upper Lachlan Shire. We've been operating D&W Earth Moving since the year 2000. Most of our work is all agricultural work. Um, been in the business probably operating dozers for 40 years. We, and we really do 95% agricultural work. Stock dams, irrigation dams, wetlands, roadworks, uh, a lot of soil erosion. Um, quite, quite a diversity of things on the land really. Yeah, we operate the two dozers. We've had a, we uh, first started off with Caterpillar back in 2005. We've had five machines all up over that time, five D6s. Currently we're only running the two, the XE and the D6T. They're well suited to the Shire, especially the Tablelands area. They're not too big, they get around everywhere. They're easy to transport, easy to manoeuvre, do a lot of uh, remote work with trails, dams and things. Easy to move around. I like working with two machines. We can put two machines together in a larger job. It enables us to have the advantage of a larger machine. We can push 30 or 40 percent more with two machines side by side than what two individual machines will push. It's all about the cost saving for our clients, so that's what we'd like to do, keep our costs for our clients down. Okay, yeah, well we recently sold a D6T. We, we needed a replacement machine. Uh, we looked into the D6XE, the electric drive. We really liked it because it was so efficient. Uh, it came across well with fuel readings and the workload. And we went the XE instead of just the D6. I'll probably retire soon, so it might be my last machine. So I went the whole hog, got the XE. I'm very happy with it. It's running about 25% less fuel than the T. I think it'll be about a 10% increase in productivity on the T. The biggest impressive thing I've got with it is the torque and the power. It's totally different to any other D6. It'll just dig in, it'll just keep boring along, it'll dig in like a wombat. I'm a firm believer today in having um, modern, efficient machines. I think you need that to survive in the workplace today. We don't actually use a lot of 3D work, um, not in our work, but we do use the 2D. The new cab, very comfortable. New touchscreen, it's great. I'd certainly recommend this machine. It's uh, so efficient. It's got a lot more pushing power than the, the other D6s. I really like it. It's a lot faster, faster cycle times, easy to operate. Well, I like Caterpillar. It's got a good quality product. They back their product and you have a great resale value. Yes, we have a uh, pretty good relationship with Westrack. I bought my first new machine off Westrack in 2015. It was a D6T and since then we've bought this XE. Yeah, so we've got about 400 hours on this machine now and the way it's been working, I can see we're gonna get a really good return on our investment. It's um, fuel efficient, it's, it's just turning our profits a lot better and it's keeping the pricing down for our clients. Yeah, my name's Mick Webster. I'm the uh, Central West Regional Sales Rep for Westrack, based in Bathurst. I've uh, been with Westrack since 2007, so coming up 14 years. Um, in that time, I've known Will uh, since probably about 10 years now, I suppose. Uh, so I will the first machine, the D6T, back in 2015, and we've just progressed now to the D6XE, which we're standing in front of today. So early last year, Will came to me uh, discussing update his D6T, and we initially talked about the D6 Next Gen and also put on the table the D6XE. We were fortunate enough that time wasn't an issue, so Will and I sat down over lunch, went right through the price book, and he picked exactly the items he wanted from the factory. We estimated an eight month lead time and it was pretty well eight months to the day Will got his new toy. Uh, so this machine here runs a C9.3B engine, running it into the, uh, the generator, which goes into an inverter and then into your electric drive unit. Uh, the machine runs very nice and quiet and also the productivity is huge that Will's seeing. He's currently getting about a 25% um, reduction on fuel to his current D6T that he has uh, in his fleet. The only downside Will had on the day was there was an empty shovel holder on the rear of this machine. We've since fixed that uh, and got Will the shovel that he needed.